So what did you do that they weren't doing? Well, <laughs> how does one say that in, a, in two minutes? But basically, uh, number one, I think because I came from the music business, I had no preconception on how to run an airline. So I kind of brought in a lot of common sense. Um, I had read Herb Kelleher's book. I had, Herb seen, well. I had seen EasyJet. Um, and I had flown on probably the most successful low-cost airline, Ryanair. And with all those three things, I simplified the business model. I went back to all principles, because I had no choice, that you had to be cash flow positive. And I produced a product that people wanted. I came up with a tagline, now everyone can fly. There were only 6% of Malaysians flying. And so I thought, you know, this is a no-brainer. Two airplanes to how many have now? We have about 250. You know, last year was an amazing year. We carried 100 million people. We're the fourth largest airline in Asia. Only the three Chinese airlines are bigger than us. They have a slight advantage of 1.4 billion people in their country. But, uh, but it's, yeah, it's been a remarkable story. And you employ a lot of female pilots. We do. That's something I'm very proud of. Uh, we were the first. I went to my chief pilot and I said, why are there no female pilots? And he came up with the most ridiculous answer that can never ever be re repeated in mm -hmm. public. And I said, if a woman can run a country, she can certainly fly a plane. So we now have 250 female pilots. The other day was history. Captain was female. Co-pilot was female. All the cabin crew were female. Chief engineer was female. And all the passengers were male. <laughs> <laughs> no, that last bit's not true. But, um, but yeah, so that's a, that's a proud moment. And as a percentage, we have more female pilots than, than any airline in the States as well. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.